What's up everybody? It's your boy Cotton. Today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to make pancakes inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm not talking about the pancakes you eat. I'm talking about pancake sequences. It's going to be a super quick tutorial, but it's definitely going to save you a lot of time when it comes to editing. Alright guys, now that we're in Premiere, as you can see right here, I have a music video timeline cut up. On this bottom track, this is going to be my performance shots. And then on this top track, this is going to be my B-roll. And now imagine I'm in a situation to where I just started editing this video. And there's not even any B-roll right here. There's just performance shots. Or imagine you're in a situation to where you finish the video and a client wants you to change one of the B-roll shots. So what your average person would do would be go up here, go through all your clips, go through them, make an in and an out point. Um, wherever they want to select their clip and then drag it into the timeline. This takes so much time to just go through all your clips, scrub through them to find what you like. So what I like to do is, like I said, create a pancake sequence. And what that is, or what you want to do, is simply create a new sequence by going to File, New, and then Sequence. But I've already done that, so I'm going to go right here to mine. And what I've done here is essentially just take all of my B-roll, so say this is just all of my B-roll clips, I would control A and then drag everything into the timeline. And then from there, what I would do is go through all of my footage and cut out only my favorite parts. So right here is just nothing but my favorite B-roll clips from some of the stuff that I shot. Now to make a pancake sequence, what you want to do is simply just click right here and then drag this down until it turns purple and then let it go. And now you have two sequences stacked on top of each other and that's how it gets its name. So now we're just going to pretend like we finished this video and we sent it off to the client but they weren't particularly happy with this b-roll clip right here. So let me show you what's right there right now. All you would have to do to fix this is seriously go to one of your B-roll clips that you've already cut out. Find wherever you want to use. Make a cut and then drag it up to your clip to the same size as the other one and then replace that clip. And it's that simple. So there you go, a super simple but effective way to speed up your editing workflow. So as always, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, be sure to smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, drop me a comment, share the video with all of your friends, and I'll see you guys next time.